I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And I want to bring to awareness some really important things that happen when we have interferences from the powers of darkness or, you know, powers that be, the dark force energies. Okay. So we're going to talk about health and vitality. Okay. So, you know, being in a body, there's always going to be things happening. Things will break down. You know, things will start to happen. Allergies, reactions, things will happen in your world. And we can go along thinking this, this is life. This is what happens and have no clue that there can be external forces affecting us and actually sometimes creating and causing ill health, health issues, vitality issues, feelings like, you know, the, the feeling like I'm exhausted, drained, no energy, lack of energy, lack of vitality, and all kinds of different things that are happening. And so, again, when, when we're just living in the world and just being in that mainstream consciousness, then, of course, oh, yeah, I got a virus or it's got cold from that person or, oh, yeah, I'm not eating right or something's happening in the body, the body's breaking down. And it's like it's just blaming life, blaming the body, totally asleep, okay? What people are not aware of are the interferences that can actually be contributing to or actually causing these things to happen, okay? And you do not know it. So here's the thing. Dark forces will interfere with you to mess up your world to affect your health, to affect your well-being, to affect your happiness, your joy, because they want you to come back and do more work with them. All right? So here's the thing about the powers of darkness, and I want to get really clear on this, all right? So you get it completely. You're not going to be attacked. You're not going to be people. A dark force energy is not going to come after you unless you have been a part of the dark forces yourself. That means you've called upon the powers of darkness for personal gain, for power over others, you know, for money, for wealth, for success, for love. <laughs> okay. There's all kinds of reasons why we use the powers of darkness. All right. But here's the thing. Once the door has been opened. Okay. For example, let's just say that I want to conjure something up. Okay. And maybe let's just say I want, to bring in like vast amounts of money, okay? So rather than using the light to do that, I use the powers of darkness to do that, okay? I might call upon, I might do something like, you know, like charms or casting or hexes or vexing or whatever, but I'm not calling upon the light to do that. And also just remember, you know, you're not doing charms and hexes and vexes and castings using the light, all right? Okay, so if you're doing things, if you're, you know, doing things for personal gain or on any level to cause harm to somebody else or to make someone fall in love with you or whatever you're doing because you want it, you're selling yourself out. You're selling your soul basically <laughs> to the devil, <laughs> so to speak, okay? It's way beyond just the devil. We're talking dark forces and we're talking that is massive. That is big energy. It's full of Demonic energies, demons is full of all kinds of dark energies, intense energies, evil frequencies, wrongdoers, evil doers, uh, all kinds of energies are in that powers of darkness. The dark lords, there's you know, there's just, there's all these creature beings, all these beings, all these energy frequencies that are connected to the powers of darkness. So, if you've ever in any lifetime open that door, which guaranteed everyone has on some level, maybe with just a little tiny, little, little opening, little, doesn't matter, you open the door, got it? And others that really went full on, I, you know, there's many people that are still suffering from being a part of what we call Satanism, rituals, sacrifices, uh, yeah, uh, soul capturing, soul torturing, soul devouring, yeah, so there's a lot of things that people have done. And these people, you don't just get away with it. You don't get to just move on because you changed your mind. Okay, oh, I, I'm done with that. I'm going to turn back to the light. Okay, it doesn't work that way. You need to understand this. So if you're 
in any way experiencing health issues or, you know, the, the vitality issues, it doesn't mean that that's absolutely going to be dark force things. And it very well can be a contributor to your experience. Okay. So again, if you've opened that door, changed your mind, walked away, those powers of darkness, they're not going to leave you alone. Now, coming back to how they can affect you, like, like, like you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I got a tick bite. Now I have Lyme disease. How did that happen? Okay. How did that happen? Powers of darkness can make that happen. You can be walking down that woods or something, you know, wherever these things are, and they make sure that you are you have this impetus, desire, if somehow you find yourself walking down that path, and oh, you got a tick bite, okay? Or, um, you know, you can be driving and you have this feeling to turn a certain way, and boom, you have a car accident, okay? So, I mean, it, it's seemingly, it's just life, all right? But when you step back, and start looking at the energy frequencies, watching the energies, watching what's happening. Why is this happening to this person? This is where we can see and sense the powers of darkness are interfering. And they will affect your body. They will affect your health. They'll drain your energy. Sometimes they'll start putting minions in there, different kinds of energy beings, uh, sentient beings in there. Some of these beings are like enslaved. Okay, Some of them are like, uh, prisoners, okay, so they have no choice but to do their, the bidding of the powers of darkness. So you can have human beings in you, undermining you, causing you harm, okay? Having, see, here's what you don't understand, many of you, some of you might, but when you've got discarnates in you, you're feeling their thoughts, you're feeling their desires, you're feeling the impetus of what they want you to do, okay? And you don't know it's not you. So, you can have beings inside of you. They can be draining, literally just draining your life force. So you're depleted all the time. You can't function. You become weak, weakened, vulnerable. So then even more attacks start to happen. What's really happening, all these dark forces, they just want you to come back and start playing, playing in their arena again. They want, you know, it's like there's a battle between the light and dark. And it's happening right now, big time. Okay. It is it. The battle of the dark and light is happening. So these beings, these energies are going to, you know, keep pulling you, trying to get you to participate and continue to do whatever you were doing. Now, you know, depending on the severity or how deeply you went in or how much you utilize them is also going to dictate how much attack you're under. I've had people come and it's like, you know, it's like their whole life, their health, their money, their relationships, their entire world just was not working. They're destitute. And, you know, and, and when and the person themselves is just like this really sweet, kind, gentle, loving person, you know, that just does good for humanity and gives it, you know, gives. And you're just thinking, wow, why is this happening? Okay. Oh, well, here, let me check. Duh. Yeah. Oh, come to find out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You were sacrificing babies. Okay. Got it. You were bloodletting. You were doing this. Okay. So people, you don't know that it actually could be dark force interferences affecting you. You don't know that, okay? It may not, but it might be. And until you really start looking at it or really feeling into your own self, so when you think about like the powers of darkness or, you know, what do you, how do you feel about that? Do you, you know what I mean? It's like when you, when you think about power over or dark energies or demonic energies or, you know, dark lords or, or, you know, all the different dark things that are happening, the negativities and all of that, what's that feel like? You know, it's like, do you have fear? Do you have anxiety? Do you feel guilty? Do you feel like something's after you? Do you feel unsafe? Okay. So sometimes you can get a sense of for yourself if that's actually happening because of how you react to the thoughts of. Like, for example, in my world, when I think about powers of darkness trying to attack me, it cracks me up, you know. <laughs> I already know I'm untouchable. Okay. I know, I know it. It's not a thought of belief. I know it. And they might be out there way out there, you know, waiting for me to come on out with something that maybe they can do, but you know, there's no fear. So when you think about, you know, do you have guilt? Do you have shame? Do you have anxiety? Do you feel unsafe? I mean, if you do, you know, there's something there. Okay. Again, cause the dark forces aren't, they don't, you're, you, they don't go after you 
unless you have done something or even if you're like someone who has um, fought them, meaning if you've been a, an avenger of the darkness and that's all you've ever done, you were never a dark being, You have now you are an enemy to them, of course, okay? So that's a little bit different to what I'm talking about, the normal things where you've enlisted the help, you've opened the doors, you've sold your soul to the devil, okay? Even if it was just for something little, 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 doesn't matter, door open, door does not close ever, okay? So I just want to remind people and let people know we do have a um a group clearing on uh dark force energy drain and that'll be on june 28th 28th okay so this that will be a good group clearing to help assist you in unraveling and clearing any kind of drain if if in fact it is dark force interference is draining you okay so keep in mind they want to keep you uh keep you down keep you so you're not functioning at your best okay they want to keep you destabilized they want to keep you in lack at all levels either fin financially um it, uh, it can be in in your your love life you know your your relationships your health could be suffering severely you know there could be you know just a drain of of your whole energy as i'm talking i can actually see a lot of those things those interferences happen in uh, in people, you know, where there's an actual drain happening, they've got, oh, there's, they can put implants in the, in the body. Um, they can put, uh, energy frequencies, like I was saying earlier, uh, beings, beings that, that are servants or, or slaves or whatever, and they're doing the bidding and they're going to do what they're told to do. Okay. So they can interfere. Like I'm looking at energies right now into the digestive system into the the actual kundalini energy frequency the life force energy frequency there can be caps on top of things uh there can be blockages there can be you know uh great things that will happen uh, things that will interfere with your your energy flows nervous systems get messed with yeah the um en uh, the, the life force energies your blood flow everything they can put stuff in 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 your blood and there's critters that can be put in. There's, uh, there's um, what do you call them? Like, like critters, some kind of insects or critters or anything that can be affecting your well-being. You know, it, 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 I, <laughs> as I'm listening to myself, I'm thinking, oh yeah, right, yeah, they're gonna think it's one of the nets, okay? But I see it all the time, <laughs> and I see it everywhere. Not everywhere, but I see it. So. You guys, it's like my mind doesn't make things up. I don't have that kind of mind. I have to, even when I'm trying to, to describe something, I have to tell, give an actual description. I can't just make something up. So, you know, there's all these things that are presenting and showing and how we are affected by the powers of darkness. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. We want to unravel that. So great, like I said, group clearing on the 28th. So we'll be dealing with the dark force energy drain making sure we just stop this stuff because you have to be released from the vows and contracts and oaths and allegiances that you made. And you had to make those in order to get what you wanted. Okay. And whether you participated or you took actual vows and oaths, promises, allegiances, you're still bound. Okay. So what I can do and have done for many years is I can release those bindings. I can set you free from the powers of darkness. And so can my accelerators. Okay. But it won't happen unless you take action and actually sever those connections. So, you know, you have to you have to do that kind of thing. So, again, remember, the powers of darkness can be affecting your health and your vitality. They can be affecting your mental clarity, your mental wellness. They can affect um, every every part of your body can be affected. OK, if you start putting if you just imagine this. You know, let's just say in the heart area, in the actual physical heart, if they start putting energy frequencies in there to block that, then you can start having things like irregular heartbeats or chest pains or, you know, if there's if they do it enough, if they really want to mess you up, they can actually cause heart attacks, okay? If they, if they, if they just get it right in, I can actually see it in some people's. There's actually dark forces in the hearts literally causing the heart to malfunction, okay? So 
think about it. It isn't just your heart. It's your lungs. It's your brain. It's your digestive tract, your stomach, your liver, your organs. Anything can be affected. And when they are, I guarantee you, no doctor is going to go, oh, <laughs> oh, this is a dark force in here. Okay, no, they're going to give you more pills or more do this, more tests, whatever, whatever, and never really find what's up, but you'll be high, heavily medicated. Okay, taking lots of prescription drugs, which will make you even more vulnerable because you'll be even more weakened and, you know, more stuff will happen. So the powers of darkness will have even more power. Mm -mm -mm. Think about that. Is that what you really want? No. All right. So again, you know, powers of darkness affecting you. You have a group clearing on the 28th. Get in on that one. If you feel like you're being drained of your vitality and health, you know, let's clean that stuff up. All right. So hopefully I'll see you there at that clearing and hopefully you'll start waking up that some of the issues you think you're having that we think are just normal may not be that. They could very well be interferences from the powers of darkness. Hope to see you there. Here.